Good morning. Today you're joining me on a trip from Dubai to San Francisco. We're taking off, disappearing from this Dubai heat of 43 degrees. Quite hot and trying to look for some weather that is bearable, at least for most of our summer. Uh, today I'm specifically sharing with you business class on the Airbus 380 on Emirates. I've been on business class before but on the Boeing so as I explore today please join me uh, everyone is disappearing so it's a full flight so I won't talk too much during the flight but I'll try to take clips for you that showcases what Emirates business class is all about uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out such videos as I share with you a few of our trips within the US so Keep watching. Being summer, this the airport and the flight is going to be full. Of course, it's a very early flight, and you can see how Starbucks is popular to kickstart the day. Let me begin by saying that we are truly blessed to be able to travel and to travel as a family and with our kids at such. A young aid. I know one of the ways I got to travel was through reading, through watching movies, but I'm glad that now we are able to go to visit the places we used to read about or watch movies. So continue with me on this trip. From entry onto the plane, the cabin crew are pleasant and welcoming, directing us to our seats. The Airbus 380 has the lower deck full economy class, and on this flight, it had 426 seats. The upper deck houses or hosts the first class and the business class first class has 14 seats and the business class 76 seats this is quite an interesting staggered system of how they've organized the business class seats in a sense it gives you a privacy that you don't have to get with the booths you know, like a locked first class. It still gives you your own spot, your own enclosed space. This is how the seat looks. There are several amenities that they provide. Each person gets an amenity pack. One for ladies, one for gents noise cancelling headset blanket and a personal minibar that has water and some soft drinks there's also enough space in front of you that you can store some of your hand luggage personal effects maybe a handbag or a laptop and the small compartments on the side that allows you to have more things close at hand. This mattress that I'll show you later how they lay it out during the flight. Emirates airline in-flight entertainment is one. I think it's the best in the world and it has movies, TV shows, everything in you know in droves you wouldn't get bored unless you don't find the style of things you want to watch but there there's everything from Hollywood Arabic translated TV shows games there is also live TV shows on the flight. So you, for example, 
on our travel Wimbledon was going on, you could watch it live. The screen on the seats is big. It can be controlled on touching the screen directly or using the controller that you can hold. just leave on the stand. I really love that you can control the window shades using the buttons. I just it just makes you feel you know you are on the Airbus 380. When lights are out and the window shields or well, the blinds are down, the place is quiet, dark, just the right amount of lighting to allow you to sleep if you need to. But on the individual seat, you have lighting and the ceiling. A reading light and an ambient light on the wine bar. The lighting and the seats can be controlled from the main TV monitor, from the handheld control. or directly on the seat. The selection of food throughout the flight is so, so much. From what they serve on your seat to what is it the lounge. They give you this menu. I know on some flight they have the QR code where you download it on your phone, but on this flight, they give you an actual menu and wine list. Of course, on Emirates, everything is complimentary from drinks to the wines, the soft drinks, the beers, everything is complimentary. On this flight, being a 15 hour flight, we got a breakfast, a hot breakfast. You had the choice of picking the different items. So you could have a full hot breakfast or request for continental breakfast. I got to eat the cheese and basil omelette. It was served with veal rashers, roasted potatoes and tomatoes and a selection of beverage.
later on for lunch they have the full three course meal with appetizers main course and dessert and for that I didn't eat the full I got to have the red Thai red prawn curry served with steamed rice and pop choy and a selection of seasonal fruit As I've shown you on the menu, throughout the flight you had a selection of sandwiches, hot snacks, fruits from the fruit basket, sweets, you know, throughout from the lounge or you could request for them from your seat. Really, truly, Emirates does go the extra mile. After takeoff, you can wait for your snacks or soon after, just go to sleep and the cabin crew come through and they help you put the mattress down so that anytime you're ready to sleep, you have the extra cushioning over the seat. The seats are already comfortable, but with the mattress, it becomes extra cozy. One of the things I love about the way these business class seats are is that it doesn't affect the person behind you. When you recline your seat, it's totally enclosed in your compartment. So whether you incline, when people are eating, you want to sleep, it doesn't affect the person behind you. In business class, at the back is the lounge. After takeoff, this is a beautiful spot, nicely organized nice lighting you know just the right ambience uh sitting area as families you can sit there you can play cards you can get to stretch your legs Pick some snacks. There's quite a selection throughout the whole flight. The cabin crew was so lovely and welcoming. You can come for drinks. And this doesn't stop you from calling or requesting drinks on your seat it's just a nice spot to get you off your seat and stretching your legs this flight was 15 hours so of course to stretch your legs the washrooms on there they are quite spacious i'll show you two types They come with everything, including toiletries and extra toothbrushes and sanitary pads, even though you already have a pack on your seat. Emirates airline really does go the extra mile. I hope to travel more airlines on business class and then I can share with you or you can tell me your experiences on flying business class. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on such videos. We are in San Francisco, landed in San Francisco, and I can't wait to share with you a little bit of my holiday. So see you on the next Emirates flight or see you 
as I share with you my US holiday snippets of my family holiday. God bless you. Barakatele. See you next time.